Alligator Snapping Turtle The largest freshwater turtle in the world based on weight, they can weigh well over 150 pounds. The alligator snapping turtle is found in the southeastern United States. It gets its name both through its primitive, gator-like looks as well as through its ambush-style hunting technique. Its mouth is camouflaged and has a worm-like appendage on the tip of its tongue to lure in prey, which can be anything from fish to snakes to water birds to other turtles. Lying completely motionless with its mouth wide open, it literally just waits for an animal to get close to its mouth, which it then snaps shut with incredible speed. Yellow Blotched Map Turtle This colorful species is one of several species of map turtle, called so because of the map-like markings on their carapace. Map turtles also all have in common the noticeable ridge running along the back of the shell, which is how they get their other common name of sawback turtles. This species has a very small range, it is only located in the Pascagoula River of Mississippi and most of its tributaries. A combination of its small range, as well as a low reproduction success rate due to human disturbance and predation, has led to this species being listed as vulnerable to extinction. Unfortunately, several species of map turtle are also listed as threatened or endangered including the newly discovered Pearl River map turtle. Pig Nose Turtle We'll give you one guess as to how this turtle got its name. It's not just the nose that makes this turtle species unique. It is also the only freshwater turtle with flippers like sea turtles. It is found in freshwater streams, lagoons and rivers in the Northern Territory of Australia and also on New Guinea. Sadly, the species has experienced a population decline of about 50% in the last two decades, due mainly to the exotic pet trade. The species is known for its territorial behavior and thus high levels of aggression when in captivity, so captive breeding isn't necessarily an option for most owners. Mostly just leaving them alone in the wild is what's needed to protect them from further decline is what's needed to protect them from further decline. African Helmeted Turtle It's hard not to smile back at this grinning guy. But don't let that goofy smile fool you. This species is omnivorous and will eat just about anything it can get its jaws on, including carrion. People have even watched groups of these turtles snag and drown doves and other relatively large prey, dragging them to the depths of the pond to dine. They look cute, but they're stone-cold killers. Mata Mata Turtle Nope, that's not a collection of rocks and rotting leaves at the bottom of the pond that's a Mata Mata Turtle. This South American species is perfectly camouflaged for its preferred habitat of slow-moving streams, stagnate pools and marshes. With a carapace that looks like bark and a head and neck that look like fallen leaves, the fish that swim close enough to be sucked up for lunch never have a chance to see what's coming. The species has a particularly long snout that it uses like a snorkel, sticking it just out of the water to breathe.
Red-bellied short-neck turtle This adorable turtle species is popular in the pet trade. It features a bright red belly when it is young, which fades to orange or yellow as it ages. Native to tropical Australia and New Guinea, it grows to about 10 inches long and can make for a hardy pet with the right care. Rhode Island Snake Neck Turtle Talk about strange looking. This is one of several species of turtles with particularly long necks. The Rhode Island Snake Neck Turtle's carapace can reach between 7-9 inches long, and its neck can be equally as long. But this species is critically endangered, it is one of the most sought after turtles in the pet trade, which has led to serious declines of wild populations. The two or three populations left are in a tiny area of Rhode Island, and they are still often illegally captured for trade. Thus, collection by humans is tipping this species toward extinction.